Hi everyone, it's Yavash here and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can manage a sales pipeline and how to actually create a sales pipeline in our platform and how you can actually manage it. So for those of you that doesn't know what sales pipeline is, it's basically something like this like, uh, and every sales has different stages. So let's say uh, you have a Facebook advertisement, a lead shows an interest to that uh, advertisement they sign up and let's say you're providing I don't know like plumbing services so once they get in they are at the first stage of showing interest and then you have some processes to make them hey would you like to for example get a quote that would be the second steps the third steps would be that after we send them the code making sure that they actually look at the code and then if they say yep I'm interested and then that next step is going to be, hey, they're interested, they need to book an appointment. And that would be the next stage, book an appointment. And the last stage would be you show up and basically fix their issue and close the client. So as you can see, these are different stages. And it's very, very important to be able to track this because if you don't know what is happening in your business, you can't actually detect the... Uh, return on your ad spend or basically how much flow and um, uh, flow of leads are coming in and where the leads are getting stuck and how to automate those and making sure the leads are actually moving uh, through your pipeline. So it is super, super important to be able to have a pipeline to begin with and also automate that pipeline. So basically everything moves smoothly and you, only, you don't need to worry about that and you only need to show up and actually do what you love and what you can do best. All right, so once again, we're in our platform. Let's go on the left hand side, we call this opportunities. That's where we actually uh, create the pipelines. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on pipelines. And as you can see, I have a couple of pipelines in here, but for uh, this tutorial, I'm just gonna make a new one as an example. So let's create a new pipeline. We're gonna name this uh, uh, plumbing, uh, for example, uh, Facebook app. And the first stage would be, uh, let's say, new lead. Second stage would be uh, requested quote. Next stage would be uh, that they uh, that we sent the quote. Actually, the next one would be uh, they received or they opened the code. Uh, let's say I uh, receive the code. And then here, let's say we're gonna contact them and book or book an appointment. So like, uh, let's say this is like uh, call number one. And let's say the call number one has gone well, and this is going to be uh, booked appointment and then closed or something like that. This is like too many steps, but like you, you kind of get a feeling of like how this is working. If I hit save, then I can actually see the pipeline in here. So if I change this to my plumbing Facebook ad, you can see that all of these are coming in here. You can see that we have two other things down at the bottom as well. So we have number of leads and also the price. So this is actually very, very helpful. So let's say that uh, for the ad that you're running, you are uh, offering specific services and you know the range of that service is like $500, for example. Or, for example, you know that if you land a client, the long-term value of that client would be like $1,000. So that would be the number that we put in, in here. And what it does, it basically helps you once at a glance see how much money it is in the new lead and how many of those you've closed. So it kind of like gives you and your team the initiative to basically move the leads from the left hand side to the right hand side and get them booking so we can calculate your conversion rate we can calculate your return on ad spend and all of those kind of things automatically so you don't need to actually worry about that hey is this agency actually doing any good or not we can calculate all of that uh, automatically on the platform and the other beautiful thing about this is this is going to be automated it's not going to be manual so if i show you an example let's see if we have any clients in here so you see, we can manually move these guys to the right hand side. Keep moving them or keep moving them back. However, this is not how we're gonna do it. We're gonna build automation for you guys. 
and based on the automations we're going to have triggers that is automatically going to move these guys uh, to the right answer so for example we receive a new lead coming in uh, we've already built a uh, built a code manager or estimator we're going to send the estimator link to them they're going to click on that once they click on that and fill up the form and uh, click on submit we're going to automatically move them to requested code we're going to do the uh estimation and code and we're going to send the email back to them hey this is the code for this job and once we send that email they're going to automatically move to this one that hey we send the code and once they open that email we're going to automatically because we get notified if they open that email we're going to automatically move them that okay they've received it they opened it and then we can get on a call with them within one day so we can all actually automate that we're going to tell the system hey wait for one day after they receive the code or wait for two days and then automatically dial that number and what it's going to do it's going to connect that call to your assistant they're going to pick up the phone and they're going to basically get connected to the client or prospect and they're going to start talking about hey you received the call i was wondering if there's anything that we can talk about or like blah 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 and then pushing for the appointment and you can literally book an appointment on the call, send them an email, say, hey, that's my calendar, go ahead and book, a, book an appointment. As soon as they book an appointment, it's gonna automatically move to book an appointment session section. And once you go and do the job, we can track that and say, hey, this, this client has been closed and won, and won, and we're gonna move them to the close section. So you can see how this whole pipeline can be automated and makes your life much, much easier. And not just that, you can actually have a great view of what is happening in your business. It's not going to be pen and paper or just basically some Google calendar and like not knowing how to follow up, showing up to the, uh, to the uh, prospect place and they're not there. We're going to do all of those kind of things like SMSing, emailing, making sure that they are actually there when you uh, are about to show up. So everything. Uh, this was just an example for plumbing. As you can see, this is this can apply to any type of business, uh, whether it be chiropractor, physio, plumber, construction, anything. We uh, we made make a pipeline. We put the logic, automation, triggers, and everything, and we go from there. So that that was pretty much it. What I wanted to talk about and show you how you can actually uh, use our platform to uh, do this kind of stuff uh, let me know if you're interested or if you have any questions and i'm more than happy to help you out uh, you should see a comment section somewhere around this video based on where you're watching but hey uh, i hope you enjoyed this one make sure that you like share subscribe uh, to my youtube channel and i hope you i hope to see you in the next one bye